Welcome to Hometown Homepages, the series where we give small business websites a much needed facelift using my favorite website builder, Webflow. I'm Maddie, and in this season, we're making over homepages from my town, Littleton, Colorado. This is episode one, Pacino's Pizza. All right, while we're waiting for the pizza, I wanna get your first impressions on their site. So I don't love that I can't see pizza right away when I open the website. And it's also a little bit dark, so that could definitely use some updating. Unsurprisingly, Jake was not alone in his opinions. I surveyed 82 people about their thoughts on the site and found that only 19% were at all interested in visiting or ordering from Pacino's based on their homepage. Now, there are a lot of factors at play when it comes to the success of a local business. As one participant said, I can't hate pizza makers for only focusing on their crust and ignoring their website. This is very valid. <laughs> However, I think that with a full day in front of us and some valuable opinions from the public, we can make some huge improvements to this site. So with those high level goals in mind, I'm just gonna sketch out literally in a minute or two how I think this website could look um, for the homepage. So as we said, it's important that people get to see the pizza right away. So I think like a big full width header image would be really good for that. So, you know, I'm just gonna sketch out maybe what that could look like here. I wanna simplify the menu and just make it like a hamburger menu and then pull out the most important CTA which is ordering online. People definitely want to know that they can do that right away and have like a one click option. I would say viewing the menu is important. A phone number to call is important um, because if you take a look at the menu and decide that you want to call an order then a lot of people do that especially for pizza you know they call and they have everyone in the room and they ask what everyone wants i think that's a really common use case for a pizza place so you should be able to call um, really easily and finally if you want to just go there i think getting directions is important to have like a one click to open your google maps or something so with those three most important um, sort of takeaways for the second section i think i just want to do maybe some little like illustrations or icons for that. A lot of times it's important for small businesses to sh want to like share their story. And so having like an about section, um, I think could work really well um, at the bottom. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna kind of mirror the shape of a pizza and do that kind of for the footer. And then maybe we can have like those photos there and like, you know, this will just be the about section here. And then lastly, I'm just going to make note here that I might do like an actual footer with all the links broken out and um, all that kind of stuff. Okay, so now we're in Figma and I dropped in this just PNG of the sketch I did on my iPad so we can keep that off to the side. I also have the before screenshot off to the side so we know exactly what content we're working with. And I created a frame that is 1440 wide. Let's start with the header. I'm just going to make a rectangle here. And I found an image on Unsplash that I think is gonna work well, but let's just see how this goes. Um, a lot of people said they didn't like how dark the site was, but I also wanna be careful not to make it too bright because it's like an Italian restaurant. So, you know, like bright colors don't really make much sense. So, let's just mask this out. So, I found this on Unsplash, but of course, if I were really doing this for the client, I would have them take professional photos. Um, but let's just pretend that this is actual Pacino's pizza. So then the other thing that I did already is I fixed the logo a little bit. It's just a little bit more modern. I basically just outlined it, tidied it up, picked a new font for down here, and then made it a white PNG with a transparent background so that we could stick it on top of this here. And so I think that works. Um, 
Oh, the other thing that we didn't have in our sketch is hours. And I think that hours are really important for a pizza place or any food place. So I might tuck the hours underneath here. I think that's nice. And then, like I said, I'm just gonna keep the menu really simple. We'll just make it a nice hamburger menu. I'm actually thinking we should go with this more beigey color um, for some of the background and some of this stuff as well. It's ever so slight, you barely would notice, but um, I think it just keeps it a bit warmer and less stark and sterile, which is important, I think, for the look and feel of this. And then maybe it would be cool if we did this bottom section in white, just for a slight contrast. First, what we want is to create a button. So let's create this button for the order now. Kind of like this color online. Nice, I think that's looking good. And then let's just give it a slight shadow. Hmm. I feel like we can move this stuff up a bit. There we go. And then this, see this is a little crooked, so if we give ourselves enough room to fix that without it cutting off on the edge. Now onto the second section. So, we have these illustrations here that I wanted to do. Um, so I'll do those in a second, but let's just grab some text and maybe we'll do this in the maroon or just black, maybe just black. And we'll do view menu. So we'll just have like some titles and subtitles. Get directions. Okay, I just did some illustrations quick on my iPad and now I'm gonna export these and we'll pop them in here. Okay, so we have the menu, the map, and the phone. I'm not loving how that looks. I feel like, I feel like it might just need literally like a shape behind it to kind of unify them. Yeah, that's honestly better already. And this will help us center it as well. Okay, cool. So that looks nice. And now let's grab a couple pictures from their site to put down here for like the about section. Okay, the pictures didn't look very good on their own. So I decided to add them into that little like illustration style. And so I think that'll make it look better and just give it a little bit more character. So let's place that in there. And then we're gonna need like a header here. Do black for now and see. So something they say on their website is slice of Italy in little time. Okay, I like how this is looking. So let's just export all of these assets and we'll get building Webflow. Now I am by no means a Webflow expert. So throughout this series, I'm gonna be learning a lot and getting in some valuable practice. This time around, I learned two big things. Before I even started designing, I configured the body all pages tag with the correct background color and font. And I also set up all of the textiles that I was going to need for this project. Something I struggled with for a while during this build was getting these images to line up nicely. Ultimately, I found that the best way to do it was to tweak them a bit in Figma, making sure that they're all the same width and that there's no overlap on the bottom. So that way, once I went to line them up in a div in Webflow, I could set it to align the bottoms and the white circles would be perfectly lined up and spaced out.
The coolest part is that I literally did all of this in one day. Webflow is really powerful in that way. There's so much you can do with it really fast, and you'll get to see that in this series. In the next episode, we'll be making over the homepage for a local florist, so make sure to stay tuned for that. See you soon.